and welcome to this update for the SAS official VS Code extension. Now we are talking about all the updates that have been added to the version 1.0, which is the first full major release of the software now. So let's dive into the awesome new features that this release provides us with. The coolest new feature that has been introduced in this release, in my opinion, is the ability for us to generate SAS notebooks. These are similar to Jupyter Notebooks, where you have a kernel in the background that executes your code for you, and you can organize your code into different cells, combine it with Markdown to have some nice visual documentation that can also run, of course, and save the runtime results into the same file. But the advantage is that with SAS, you can not only run one type of code, because the kernel is a SAS compute context, you can run Python, you can run SQL, and of course, everything you can do within SAS. So for us, we are going to take a look at this. If you want to learn how to connect or the general navigation within VS Code, check out the previous video I did on the SAS VS Code extension through the link up top or the first link in the description below. So here we are inside of a SAS notebook where you can see I have already generated some markdown here at the top. If we click into that cell, you see generic markdown. And then if we run that cell, if you are used to Jupyter style, you can use control enter to just run a cell or of course use the navigation up top. And then we will see standard SAS code in here. Of course, when you write SAS code here, you get the same nice uh, syntax highlighting, you get the autocomplete help and also the on hover help suggestions that help you kind of understand the code that is going on um, to more easily write and understand SAS code. So we have this whole cell and again here we can run it by clicking either the run icon or hitting control enter which is what I'm going to use and then it will Put all the SAS log down below and you can see you also get highlighting in here. For example, here we generated a note in our macro code, uh, note welcome to the future. Um, of course, it also allows us to embed ODS output. So we're talking about ODS HTML output in this case and we can of course run it with the same command and it will put out that ODS results. If you want to see the log, you can just use those three horizontal dots, the more actions icon to change the presentation layer and switch it over from ODS HTML5 to compute log lines. And this will then show you the actual log that ran in the background instead of the ODS output. So let's switch back. So we have a nice little view and of course, as I said in the beginning, not only can you run all your typical SAS code in here, you can also make use of an SQL cell. The SQL cell, which you can see here in the right hand bottom side, is this little language tag where you can also click on and change the language. You can use auto detect or manually select the right language for your use case. So here we saw SAS before, now we are switching to SQL. And you can see the syntax highlighting is of course also there and we can run it. And what happens in the background is that your SQL code is implicitly wrapped inside of proc SQL to execute this code for you. And of course, also here, the results are generated um, for you. The ODS output is generated and given back to you to understand what you created. And this is just to make it more explicit, the actual code that ran behind the scenes for our example. And finally, we take a look at the Python code cell, which enables us to run Python code directly from a cell. And this also enables us to make use of the proc Python procedure, of course, in the background, because that's what wraps our Python code here. It's put in between a proc python submit and submit block, same as when you run your code in SAS Studio from the Python code editor. 
So here we can take a look at our example and then you can see down below you get the execution uh, result. You see the startup of the Python runtime. You get the uh, log messages that happen in the background and here we see the print statement that I've generated up top. And of course you can also make use of the pipe sas pi plot method to return those values or the, the figures that you have generated within Python to be displayed in the interface. This is all the new things you can do with the SAS notebooks to generate your own. You just use the file extension SAS NB and you can save them on your local file system and inside of SAS content, of course. And the um, other updates that this new version brings to the table happen when we go into the SAS interface of the extension. Here you can now add things to your favorites with just a simple click. We can add a new button to my favorites and of course you can also remove them again. You can now also drag and drop files between folders to easily manage them right from the UI here. And let's move this back. And finally, we also got the ability to cancel long running SAS jobs if you are unsure why it ran too long or it ran longer than you expected. So here I have an example, just using the simple sleep function to let SAS um, run 10 seconds idly in the background. And you get this little pop-up where you can click cancel and this will go to the next step boundary and terminate your SAS code. Sim uh, it's the same as when you click cancel inside of SAS Studio, instead of letting this now idly wait for 10 seconds. These are all the cool new updates that have been made available within Viet SAS VS Code Extension 1.0. Hope you have a good day. Bye bye.